Hi everyone, um, so today I'm just going to do a quick vlog about my move to LA and about my search for a job um, and I'm going to give some advice. Um, it might not be great general advice, it might really only apply to like if you're looking for a job in the film industry or like another creative industry like that. Um, so hopefully this is helpful, hopefully, um, you know, even just talking about like my job search will maybe, um, you know, um, help you guys out or, you know, make you feel like you're not alone if you are, uh, searching for a job. Just a little background about me. Um, I did do my undergrad in media studies, um, which is not like the technical aspects of film. It's not filmmaking. It's more analysis of the film or of like media industries in general. After that, I did my master's in women's and gender studies. Um, and mostly I did that because, uh, even though it's not really going to necessarily help me get a job, um, I did that because uh, I did not trust myself to go out and get a job after college. I don't recommend doing your master's just because you don't want to go out and search for a job, but it, it worked out for me um, and got me to this place where I'm now able to come out to LA and um, search for a job in the film industry, which is what I've always wanted to do. I've wanted to do that for a very long time. Um, and luckily, uh, I am staying with my aunt. Luckily, she took me in <laughs> and is letting me stay with her so I don't have to pay rent or anything while I'm, like, technically unemployed. Um, <laughs> which is great. It's still, like, well, uh, whatever. Um, I've been out here for about a month and... Um, I am doing freelance work right now. Um, so right now I'm, I'm helping, I'm helping someone out who, um, you know, is in the industry and, um, I'm kind of just doing some small projects. Um, I've done some like graphic design work as well while I've been out here, though that's not really my specialty, but, um, you know, at this point I'll do anything. <laughs> um, because I have really struggled to find like a like a real job like see that's the that's kind of the problem is that you know a lot of this industry is like this kind of freelance work and then it hopefully leads to um, you know a more secure position than just the freelancing um, and so that's really been my struggle and like my frustration is you know, you go on these sites and like Indeed and LinkedIn and everything and you apply for just all the jobs you can. Um, I literally have applied for like anything that is even cl somewhat closely related to what I'm interested in. Um, and I haven't heard back from a single one. So that's cool. Um, and it's only been a month, but it's like, this is the longest I've gone without having like, just like a job like that. And you know, sometimes in this industry, especially um, in this type of industry, you know, sometimes you do just do the freelance stuff for like a really long time. You know, the freelance stuff is good um, in terms of, especially with what I'm doing, to get more experience and then also to get more things to put in your portfolio. Because right now, because I didn't go to like film school or because I didn't, you know, major in film, I don't have a lot in my portfolio. Um, I've done internships where I, you know, was doing sort of film stuff but you know for one of them I you know made educational tutorials so that's not really film um and um you know I don't I don't necessarily have um you know some people who go into this industry do internships with like big name companies and so you know they're able to have that on their resume especially if you're applying to like a lot of the, some of the jobs I've applied to are at these bigger companies and so you know there's just a lot of competition for that and um one of the things I do suggest is um finding like a site that's not just like one of the generalized sites like Indeed or LinkedIn or whatever finding like an industry specific site for whatever you're interested in like for film um there's one where you know a lot of the like freelance work um you can find on there like anything from like you know people looking for editors which is what I would do to you know PAs and even directors and producers and stuff uh, people will be looking on there for. And that's how I'm like finding a lot of stuff now. Um, I did, you know, try the whole like LinkedIn Indeed thing and I'm still doing that to a certain extent, but it's just, it's not fruitful. You know, I, I wasn't, it wasn't really working out for me. <laughs> um, and, and it's probably because, you know, if, you know, 
a lot of people have access to those sites. And so a lot of people from a lot of different areas are able to apply for those jobs. And so I like getting experience in like the exact thing I want to do and not just in the industry, but with, you know, um, my area of expertise. Um, so, so that's one piece of advice I have. And I don't know if other industries that might be specific to the film industry that we have a site like that. Uh, it's just kind of frustrating because it's like, you want to have like a real job and like my freelance work that I'm doing is great and it's helpful and, and the people who are like letting me work with them, I'm super grateful to them. But, you know, when your grandparents are like, oh, how's living in LA? You know, are you successful? Like they don't want to hear that you're doing freelance work. They want to hear that you have a job and it's a job, but it's not technically, you know, it's not like it's not like being employed at a full-time job. It's not like a nine to five job. And that's kind of, you know, something that I have to learn to like kind of expect in the field that I want to go into. Um, you know, that just happens. And it, and as it turns out, I might, you know, have to get a part-time job or, um, you know, something like that just because at some point I'm going to need income. Um, and, you know, some of these freelance jobs you do get paid for. Some of them are unpaid and just for the experience or whatever. And, which is great. I mean, that's helpful to me. And I'm luckily in a position where I can do things like that. And I can do work that's unpaid. Um, but I know a lot of people can't. And, um, you know, sometimes you have to get a part-time job and then do this kind of thing on the side. Um, but one of, yeah, one of my other pieces of advice is, you know, in your free time, if you can, uh, do things that are related to what you want to do so that you can put those on your resume. You know, anything that you can put on your resume that is in some way related is good. Like I put my blog on my resume and I put this YouTube channel on my resume because those both have like applicableness. Uh, that's not a word. I don't know if that's a word. Oh, well, they're both applicable to jobs that I'm applying for. Like this shows that I, you know, I'm making my own videos and, you know, doing editing and stuff in my free time. And, you know, that it's something that I enjoy and, um, you know, I have experience with it. So, I mean, that's not great advice for, like, not every industry that's going to work for, but especially for this type of industry, you know, anything that you can show where you're spending your free time doing this kind of thing is, is good and it's helpful. Now, in this day and age, not to sound like an old person, but, because um, I'm not that old, but, you know, it really is, that's something where online applications now let you link to your website, and that's something that didn't used to exist. I kind of wanted to talk about my own like struggle with the job searching and how frustrating it can be just so that you know maybe there's someone out there who's watching this who they can relate and you know you feel like you're it's, so you feel less alone because I know it can feel really isolating to be sitting at home applying for jobs every single day and just not hearing back from them and just being like am I just a piece of shit like do I you know why do they hate me and like it really can be really isolating so hopefully this will like you know even if you, this isn't the industry that you're looking for a job in um hopefully you know if you're just looking for if you're on the job search and you're not hearing back you know um I you know it can be frustrating and I want to say you know don't give up um because like I'm not giving up I'm gonna keep doing the freelance stuff um as much as I can and, and hopefully it will lead to something more. But, you know, honestly, like, something will come along eventually. And I know that's, like, hard to hear because if you've gotten, if you haven't heard back from anywhere and you applied to, like, 50 jobs, it's like, well, maybe something will come along eventually. And I'm going to be stuck working minimum wage for the rest of my life. Not that that's anything, there's anything wrong with that. But this is more specifically for people who, like, are searching for a job in a specific industry and want to work in that industry and just haven't had the opportunity to. And I think that's an important thing is to um, just keep working for what you want, you know, don't don't give up on your dreams. And like, it, you know, I, you know, have decided to move out here and live out here and not everyone has that opportunity to just like up and move somewhere um, across the country. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to really be giving advice because I, you know, I haven't found like my perfect dream job yet. Yeah, I'm just kind of like doing what I can to like get by. Um, 
And also I haven't been in this industry that long, so I can't really give advice that's specific to this industry other than like the few things I've picked up. Hopefully it just helps to, you know, hear someone else is struggling with the job search, um, if you are too. Um, hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you watched it and if you liked it. Um, and subscribe to the channel uh, so you can see more videos from us. Um, I'm gonna try to keep it a mix of kind of like these vlog type videos, but then also, you know, the tutorials and the makeup specific, <laughs> the makeup specific ones. So, um, you know, leave some comments if you have any like comments or questions about, you know, my own job search and, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, feel free to leave those comments. I'll either reply to those or um, like reply to your comments directly or I'll just talk about them in another video. Um, if you know I get a lot of comments, which probably I won't, uh, but that's okay. And I will see you guys next week.